Hey YouTube, so in this tutorial we're going to be going over um, a simple text-based GUI. Um, one second, my phone's ringing. Right. So, um, we're going to go over a very simple text-based GUI, so kind of like a command line like this. As you can see, you can enter help. Oh, help gives you a list of commands. You can enter time. Um. All right. Well, I don't want to have to set a new time, so alright. So, um, so yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing. Now, uh, to do this, what we have to do is we have to build a very basic GUI, just what it's going to look like. So what I did is I went into a Notepad and I just made this basic text GUI. As you can see, I have a line going across here. And then, and then going down, it's just blank spaces with this. It has output lines, zero output lines. Now this output lines, this is an array that I have created over here. Um, as you can see, the first one is welcome to YouTube OS. So whenever you open up YouTube OS, the first line you're going to see is just the basic welcome statement. And then obviously you could put more in if you wanted to. So whenever we call draw console it'll output what is ever whatever is in these variables and then where we enter our text like our commands is down here so um, let's just look what the code looks like now so as you can see it has basically the execute and then has draw console so it scrolls down here and says okay how do I draw this it draws that and then it's like oh output lines so it goes back up here and it reads the output lines and draws it all out the ver this is a very specific number of spaces. The reason you need those spaces is so it draws these bars in the right place. Um, so what happens is you just have a string called user in input, and then while it's true, so basically just an infinite loop, it says that it sets the console dot cursor top is equal to eighteen. So basically, the only way to set your cursor is through cursor top and cursor left. So this is line 1, line 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 18 and 10, that's where we're going to put our cursor. And then user input console.readline. Um, so that's just very basic stuff that you've already looked at. Now. I'm going to look at some kind of cooler stuff that I made up on this code. So as you can see, we have an if statement. If console, if uh, user input is equal to help, it output this. It um, does this. It sets 10, which you know is at the very bottom, and it just gets rid of it. And it sets 9 equal to 10, or 10 equal to 9, and then moves the value of 8 into 9, value 7 into 8, 6 into, five, uh, six into 7, 5 into 6, 4 into 5, so on, so on. And then it puts the new value based on what your command was into zero and in the case of help that will be displays a list of commands however what will also happen if say it has to output more than one line say one line per command then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving all these up and we're also going to get rid of say output lines 9 output lines 8 and just add new commands and if it's not equal to help, it just says error unrecognized command, and then it just calls draw console. Um, I'm going over this a little fast just because uh, I'm trying to cut down on the time my tutorials take. They're like 10 minute tutorials, and I'm not explaining a whole lot. So, let's just look at it. Um, I'm just waiting for VMware to start up. Okay, here we go. So now VMware is booted up. Mind me later. So if I type help, help with a capital H, it says help displays a list of commands. If we, I type help without a capital H, it has an unrecognized command. 
that is something that we're going to be fixing. Um, and then also you can type anything like that. Help. And as you can see, it has a scrolling action, which... And now if you watch, if you can see up here, um, YouTube OS is at the very top. So if I enter this command, YouTube OS goes away. Um, we also will probably add a scrolling function, and basically every time we create a new one of these, it'll just display, and it will add a new element to an array. Um, but that's for a later tutorial. Basically, we're just, in these tutorials, we're just going to kind of keep building on uh, our text-based GUI until we have a pretty good foundation of what it should look like. Then we're going to move on to VGA. And if you don't know what VGA is, it is graphics. Hooray! So, that was just kind of a really quick, uh, really quick thing on this. And I will show you one thing I forgot to show you guys or forgot to tell you guys about. Um, booting again. So as you can see, when I type help, it just says help displays a list of commands. It doesn't say what I typed in. So if I typed in um, H, it just says error unrecognized command. It doesn't say what the unrecognized command is. So if we're scrolling through our history, we're going to be like, well, what did I put in that was unrecognized? Or what did I put in to get a list of commands? So, what we're going to do is we're going to add that in the next tutorial. This one was supposed to be just kind of a short one, um, but it got up to about six minutes, I guess, or whatever that is, five, six minutes. I don't like... As you can see on Cam Studio, it says it in seconds, which is really annoying, and because I don't like to just... I could probably convert it to minutes just by dividing by 60, but, you know, I'm lazy. And I'm rambling. So, um, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. If your friends are having trouble with Cosmos, send them a little link. And thanks for watching.